Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be comparing these two numbers. We have 1.03 and then 1.01 to the third power. And we have to determine which one is greater without using any calculator. But before we begin, if you are new here, please hit the subscribe button and also like this video. Thanks a lot for subscribing. Now let's get started. I'm going to leave this one as it is and then deal with this one first. Okay, so 1.01 .01 could also be written as 1 plus 0 0.01. .01. And this is also the same as 1 plus 1 over 100. So 1.01 .01 to the third power is also the same as 1 plus 0 0.01 to the third power. And this is also the same as 1 plus 1 over 100 to the third power. Okay, from binomial theorem, 1 plus x to the power n is equal to 1 plus n times x plus n into n minus 1 over 2 factorial times x to the second power, then plus n into n minus 1, n minus 2 all over 3 factorial times x to the third power and it keeps on going up to x to the power n okay so comparing this one and then this we can say that x is equal to 1 over 100 and then n is equal to 3 so this implies that 1 plus 1 over 100 or to the third power is equal to 1 plus 3 times 1 over 100 then plus 3 into 3 minus 1 over 2 factorial times 1 over 100 to the second power plus 3 into 3 minus 1 3 minus 2 all over 3 factorial times 1 over 100 to the third power okay simplifying this we have 1 plus 3 over 100 then plus 3 into 3 minus 1 is 2 then over 2 factorial is still 2 then times 1 over 100 to the second power then plus 3 into 2 into 1 over 3 factorial is 6 then times 1 over 100 to the third power okay now let's go ahead and then simplify this further so we have 1 plus 3 over 100 then plus 3 times 2 is 6 times 1 is still 6 divided by 2 is 3 okay so we have 3 over 100 to the second power then plus 3 times 2 is 6 times 1 is still 6 divided by 6 is 1 okay so 1 times this whole thing we have 1 over 100 to the third power all right now what i'm going to do from here is that i'm going to combine these fractions to form only one fraction okay and to do that they need to have the same denominator and one thing you should keep in mind is that we are doing all this without a calculator okay i'll write this one as 100 to the third power over 100 to the third power then plus now from this fraction i'll multiply the numerator by 10 to the fourth power then divided by 100 times 10 to the fourth power okay then plus then i'll multiply this 3 by 10 to the second power then divided by then i'll multiply this 100 to the second power by 10 to the second power then plus now we'll leave this one as it is this is 100 to the third power now if we study the denominators very carefully you can see that they are the same okay so we have the denominator to be 100 to the third power okay now considering the numerators 100 to the third power is the same as 1 million okay then plus 3 times 10 to the fourth power is 30,000 plus 
Then 3 times 10 to the second power is 300. Then plus 1. Alright? Now combining the numerator, we have 103031. And this is divided by 100 to the third power. And this could also be written as 103031 divided by 10 to the sixth power. Okay? And this is also the same as 103031 times 10 to the power negative 6. The question was in decimal point, so I will leave my answer in decimal point. So I'm going to stand here and then move 6 steps to the left. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so this becomes 1 point. 030301. Okay, and this is our answer. So 1.01 to the third power is equal to 1.030301. Alright. Now this means that the difference between 1.01 to the third power and then 1.03 is 0 0.000301. So we can conclude that 1.03 is less than 1.01 to the third power. In other words, we can say that 1.01 to the third power is greater than 1.03. So guys, I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again on the next video.